everyone. Uh, so this is the what I call the second episode. Still on the same subject. Love the sea and the earth. So no prizes here. Great color. Uh, I believe you all know what it is. Have a look at the model. 94,000 kg uh, dash EGR. So 94,000. 9400, sorry, is the arrangement. Change the world itself. Love the earth and the sea, right? So, this is my actually my first range man. Uh, I've always wanted to get a range man, but uh, for some reason or another, I always, uh, for the, 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 what you call that, the series that is being released, uh, I end up getting a similar uh, color of the same range. So, uh, I'm trying as much as possible not to get similar color, similar ones so that no, I can uh, not have too much to pick it that I don't end up wearing. Anyway, uh, let's just have a look at the watch itself. Right here it is. First look. Of course, the first impression is a very, very unique color. Some may say it's not nice. When I first saw it, the, the what you call it, the promo pictures, I actually thought the accent is actually in orange, which if you think of it, is actually quite nice if it turns out turn out to be in orange. But red is not too bad either. Right. So the gray itself is very, very unique. I don't think that is another one like this. I accept the. There's this frogman, yeah. Uh, also, a 8200 frogman. I cannot remember the Ezeka uh, model, but anyway, that is the closest that you can go. Other than that, this is the only other grey, if I can remember correctly, at least in this tone. So, I should have to go and play around with it, find out the functions and things like that, since this is my first one. So, anyway, uh, just look at it. First of all, first thing that strikes us, of course, is the dual uh, colour screen so have a look at the backlight of course this is the standard uh, the what you call it the logo there pretty bright you can't really see the dual color once it's up it's just a slight difference right and uh, of course you can see the red accents the red does make it pop uh, metal keeper as usual, change the wheel yourself. Uh, the back plate is pretty sweet actually. And look at it. It's uh, nicely aligned straight up. That is a plus definitely. Yep, it's very, very, very nice engraving on the case back. So of course the in Thailand. But they know orange men are made in Thailand. We do not know in future. You might see some in uh, other countries. Of course, the other very captivating factor that makes a lot of people end up buying it is the carbon fiber, fiber uh, reverse side of the strap, the inner side. Look at that. Uh, sort of like a you know, red wine kind of color. Not exactly translucent, but you can more or less see what is actually within it. Uh, look at it. Uh, pretty sweet. Right? But uh, you don't really get to see that when you're wearing it. So anyway. Um, yep. Yeah, have a look at it. Uh, yeah, my first range man. Size looks pretty pretty good on the wrist. Okay. Good feet. Alright. Cause my I have a small wrist. Okay. A short video as usual, try to limit it to 5 minutes. Uh, Gotta play around with the functions. Hope you guys like, like it. Might be cool if Otter's uh, silver one is in black. That would look very nice, very sick, even if, let's say, for example, this is in black. Like the LC or uh, what you call it, gunmetal still black. That would be very, very cool. But anyway, nice on its own. Okay, thank you for watching guys, bye.